today I am going to show you how to do lollipop chicken legs. Now, uh, I started doing these a couple years ago, or I don't know, probably 10 years ago. And uh, they're always a, a big hit because you bring them out and they look, they look really cool. And uh, if you have good sauces on them and everything, they, like you just, you're just eating just the meat of the chicken leg, which is kind of the problem with the way they are like this. You cook them and you get all this kind of funky stuff, but it has sauce on it. And so you want to eat it, but it's all chewy and kind of gross. Um, so lollipops are a great way to get around that. Plus they look cool. They're, they're not messy because you don't have anything on the, uh, on the, the actual leg there. So you can kind of, kind of caveman eat it at the barbecue. It's, they're, re they're really cool. Kids like them. Um, so you get good sauces on them and all that, but they're kind of a, they're kind of a trick to do. Um, and I'll show you, I'll show you what I've learned, uh, to do them. So what you want to do is sort of feel, you can kind of see where the, where the muscle ends in there and it just becomes just skin and tendons and stuff. Um, and that's kind of where you want to make your cut. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a real sharp knife, keep it sharp, um, keep it honed, you know, just make sure that, that, uh, when you're cutting, you're doing it, uh, doing it with a good, a good implement. Um, and that will make this a lot easier. I think that was probably when I started making this kind of stuff, uh, I always tried to keep knives sharp, but I, I never kept them as sharp as I should have. And, you know, like sharpened them weekly and, and make sure I hone them before I use them and all that kind of stuff. Um, once I started doing that, uh, it got a lot easier. So you'll see you get these kind of weird piano wire-y tendons and you want to you want to cut those if you can. Get those out of the way. Um, they will, they're not going to be part of the the chicken when they're done, they, they cook and they shrink. Um, so they're, they're not something that you worry about when you're eating, actually eating the chicken, but they are kind of a pain when you're doing this stuff. Um, so what you can see is I cut around the outside and then I, I get this kind of hood on here. And what I can do is just put my finger in it and, and pull it off. Now this stage is kind of where, when I first started doing these is how I would leave it. And just kind of let all this stuff cook cook down um, and that gets kind of gross and it's arguably not even better than having just a regular chicken thing because you get the you get you know sauce and gross stuff caught in there um, and it looks gross when it's cooking it's just it, uh, just not the way you want to do it so uh, what you want to do is cut this part off this is uh, basically the kneecap for the chicken um, and the best way to do this is just set it down on the cutting board like that and then run the knife to where you get about, about a half an inch, quarter of an inch, something like that. And just kind of walk it down in there and then tilt the knife this way and tilt the leg this way. And you, you can kind of hear that start to break. You get a nice little break in there like that and then it just pops right off. And what, what you're left with is a real nice clean uh, clean uh, chicken leg right here. So sometimes you get this this weird little thing in the middle won't come off with it and you can kind of just cut it off. Get down in there and get it out of there. But once you get all that stuff out of there, it's not difficult. You just it just takes a good uh, the right tools to do it. But once you get it, you have a real nice clean uh, uh, lollipop drumstick leg. And then what you do when you cook these, you wrap just a little bit of tin foil around each one, and it'll make it so it doesn't burn. Because if this gets too close to the fire, then what happens is the fire will burn the leg and weaken it, and then you'll just it'll snap right off. Um, which just you'll just have the the meat on the bottom, which is still good but it's not as good as having the, the chicken leg. So I hope that uh, helped you guys with your cooking and I'll talk to you later. Bye.